Hello friends, this video on fee block elements part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we'll see another important compound nitric acid it is very very useful and this uh, nitric acid also called high nitric acid. So uh, if you see the nitrogen it forms a lot of oxo acids. A good example of them is H2N2O2 that is my hyponitrous acid then you have HNO2 that is my nitrous acid then HNO3 that is nitric acid right this is nitric acid this is nitrous acid and this is hyponitrous acid So out of these, this nitric acid is the most popular one. So we'll study this nitric acid. So in the lab, if you want to prepare this, we're talking about the preparation of nitric acid. In the lab, if you want to prepare this, we take KNO3 or NaNO3 and we take some concentrated sulfuric acid and in a glass retort. And then the reaction is KHSO4 plus HNO3. This is my nitric acid. And this is my lab preparation. If you want the commercial way, in the commercial way, if you want to prepare nitric acid in bulk, we use something called Ostwald process. This process is used to prepare nitric acid in commercial way because nitric acid is used in a lot of places. And this is based on the catalytic oxidation of NS3 by atmospheric oxygen. This is based on catalytic oxidation of NS3 by atmosphere. Or you can say by atmospheric oxygen. So you have ammonia, you do oxidation. In presence of platinum gauge at some 500 Kelvin and some 9 bar pressure, not very high pressure. With this, what you get is my NO and water. I want to write the balance equation. This is the balance equation. So now, once I have NO, this NO from this. Will actually again react with oxygen to form NO2. Once I've got NO2, this will you have to add some water to it, it form nitric acid. And NO again. This NO is again recycled actually. This again is NO is again recycled to form NO2 and then to form nitric acid. So this is again very dilute. This is very dilute actually you get because you have a lot of water here. You can concentrate this by distillation. You can concentrate this by distillation. So the normal industrial purpose nitric acid is 68% biomass. Please remember this number. This is the commercial uh, nitric acid 68% by mass. But if you want, you can do further concentration and you can achieve at 98% by mass uh, nitric acid actually. This can be achieved by dehydration with concentrated sulfuric acid. 98% uh, can be achieved by actually dehydration, dehydration with my concentrated sulfuric acid okay so we talk about the properties of uh, this nitric acid again this is a colorless liquid you see this is colorless liquid you must have seen the nitric acid in the lab and the boiling point is uh, 356 Kelvin As I told the lab HN nitric acid or the industrial nitric acid is also 68% by mass is my lab nitric acid and they have this 68% by mass has a specific gravity S gravity of 
1.504 for so, draw the structure of nitric acid so this is my structure of nitric acid this is uh, this angle is 102 degree this nitrogen and oxygen the oxygen length is 121 picometer and this angle is 130 degree this nitrogen and oxygen bond length is 140 picometer and this oxygen and hydrogen bond length is 96 picometer it is again experimental data right it's a very very strong acid if we take acid, nitric acid and you dissolve in some water it immediately breaks into hydronium ions and n3 ions and this concentrated nitric acid EPT is a very strong oxidizing agent very strong or i can say very strong oxidizing agent very very strong oxidizing agent it attacks almost all metal all metal except uh, some metal like gold and platinum gold and platinum is something which is not attacked by this nitric acid apart from that other metals are attacked by this nitric acid right so again if you see if you talk about the nitric acid reaction with some metals the product of the reaction depends on a lot of factors like concentration of acids and temperature etc for example copper itself when you react with nitric acid and you take dilute what you get is CuNO3 2 plus NO and water but if the same copper reacts with again nitric acid but in this case you take concentrated then what you get is CuNO3 2 plus instead of NO you get NO2 and you get water so if you see I can write the balance reaction for you it's 8 this is 3 this is 2 and this is 4 this is 2 and this is 2 yeah. so you see there's a difference in the product based on whether you're using dilute or concentrated nitric acid same thing is with zinc zinc I take again nitric acid and I am taking this time dilute so I am getting ZnNO3 full 2 plus my water molecules plus N2O the same case if I take again nitric acid but in this case I am taking some concentrated nitric acid you get ZnNO3 2 plus 2H2O plus 2NO2 That is my nitric acid. Let's talk about some more feature of nitric acid. See, this night some metals actually some metals. See, I told the nitric acid is very strong oxidizing agent, but some metals they don't dissolve in concentrated nitric acid, but they dissolve in dilute actually. Some metals they don't dissolve in concentrated nitric acid. But dissolve in dilute nitric acid. You must be wondering why, if a concentrated uh, nitric acid can't dissolve it, how come a dilute nitric acid dissolve it? This is why, because see, sometimes it uh, the metal forms a passive oxide film. Passive oxide film. Met metal forms a passive oxide film when it reacts with my concentrated nitric acid so if it has passive oxide film it will not react further aluminum is a good example right also this concentrated nitric acid also oxidizes non-metals and their compound for example iodine is oxidized, oxidized to iodic acid my carbon is oxidized to carbon dioxide, it's all non-metals. Sulfur is again a non-metal. This is oxidized to sulfuric acid. My phosphorus will be oxidized to phosphoric acid. So these are all done by concentrated nitric acid. So concentrated nitric acid oxidize non-metal also. These are all my non-metal. Right? If you want to see the reactions, 
iodine plus HNO3 is HIO3 plus NO2 plus water. We want to write the balanced reaction. This is the balance. This is a 2 here, there is a 10 here, and there is a 4 here. Similarly, carbon plus nitric acid, 4 nitric acid will form carbon dioxide and water molecule and NO2. This is my balanced reaction. Similarly, sulfur will react with nitric acid to form sulfuric acid and it will form NO2 also, it will form water molecules. If you want to find the balanced reaction, this is 48 nitric acid, this is 8 sulfuric acid, this is 48 NO2 and this is 16 water molecules. Same phosphorus, it reacts with nitric acid to forms again my phosphoric acid S3PO4 plus NO2 plus water molecule. The balanced reaction is 20 here, is 4 here, is 20 here, there is a 4 here. So these are some of the property of nitric acid. Another very critical property of this nitric acid is brown ring test. This test is used to find nitrates ion. So what we do in this case, we add iron sulfate to solution of nitrate. See, this is a solution given, this is a solution given and you have to tell whether this solution is nitrate or not. What you can do is, you can add this iron sulfate solution to this. You can add iron sulfate to this solution. And then slowly add, then you have to add, slowly add my concentrated sulfuric acid. Such that the sulfuric acid forms a layer. In this case, you get a brown ring like this. If you see, you'll get a brown ring, something like this. Correct. And this test is based on the ability of my Fe2 plus. In this case, I've added ferrous iron sulfate. Fe2 plus to reduce my nitrates. And they'll reduce nitrate to nitric oxide. And this nitric oxide will again react with this again, it will again react with whatever Fe2 plus we have, right? Again react with Fe2 plus to form brown color complex. In acidic medium, and that's why you are you are adding sulfuric acid in acid. Correct. So if I have my Fe2 plus ions, it can reduce nitrate to nitric oxide and this nitric oxide again reacts with my Fe2 plus ions to form a brown colored complex in acidic medium. And that's what we do. If I have a solution and you have to tell whether it is nitrate or not, what we do is we add iron sulfate to the solution and then slowly add sulfuric acid. And then it forms a brown ring, something like this. So we want to see the reaction with something like this. You have a nitrate ions, the moment you react with uh, my Fe2 plus, in the presence of H plus medium, it forms NO nitric acid. And then again, this NO this becomes Fe3 plus and H2. So this NO again react with my Fe2 plus to form brown complex. Again, this is in the presence of H plus. This one reaction, this is second reaction. Very, very famous test, brown ring test to find the nitrate ions. The next is the uses of uh, nitric acid. The first, the first use is uh, to manufacture fertilizers. To manufacture fertilizers, we use nitric acid, ammonia nitrate. We also use this nitric acid to manufacture explosives. 
we also use for pickling of stainless steel we also use for uh, the nitric acid for eaching of metals metals if you want to each we use the nitric acid and this is also used for rocket fuel these are the typical use of nitric acid thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again